Chapter 5, Beginning to Engineer After dinner, Chen and Yi Min met in the school garden. Well, Chen said, what do we do now? Yi Min imagined that she was the emperor's lead engineer, ready to create a plan for building the Great Wall. She thought back to movies she had seen and tried to be like a general inspiring her troops. Chen, she began, our mission is to create a wall that stops the bandit bunny from eating our plants. It may be hard work. It may be dangerous work. Dangerous work? asked Chen. Okay, maybe not dangerous, said Yi Min, but it might take us some time to figure out how to build the wall. I was thinking about all the materials the walls are made of, like wood, stone, brick. How could we get bricks? Chin asked. It could be expensive. Buying bricks could be expensive, Yi Min agreed. But gathering stones near the river wouldn't. That's true, Chen said, beginning to smile. But how would we hold the stones together? That's where the mortar comes in, Yi Min said. Mortar is a mixture that can be used to stick bricks or stones together. We have plenty of soil in the garden and water in the stream. We could try using that to make mortar. Chin and Yi Min scooped some soil into a bucket. Chin looked at the soil Yi Min had collected. There are some weeds and sticks in here, he pointed out. We better get rid of them. Yi Min reached down, reached down to pull the sticks out, but stopped. Wait, she said. How do we know we should get rid of them? What if it make, would make our mortar stronger? I don't see how those sticks will help make a better wall, Chin protested. I'm not saying you're wrong. But we're not sure, Yi Min said. Let's make a bunch of different kinds of mortar, mud with sticks, plain mud, sand, and maybe even some from the clay from their stream banks. Then we can use the mortar to make little walls to test. We can compare the walls after they dry. Yi Min added the water to the dirt and the sticks in her bucket, and she and Chi and Min began to make a wall from the mud, mortar, and stones. After they were through with that batch, Chin grabbed a bucket and walked towards a sandy patch of garden. He scooped up some of the sandy dirt, then added water. Yi Min scooped up some of the sandy dirt, then added water. Yi Min and Chin used that mixture and more stones to make another wall. Soon they had rows of miniature walls baking in the sun. I think my grandfather would be proud of us, Yi Min said. We experimented with materials. Next, we can test the mortars to see which one makes the strongest walls. Chen smiled. This must have been what it was like to work for one of the great emperors, Yi Min thought. She couldn't wait to begin building their wall.